John Kennedy, this was a good week for you to come back off your holidays, wasn't it? <laughs> good week is right, yeah. Donald. The man beside you, Liam Braston, said, May, it will be no trouble whatsoever. So I start. <laughs> we'll be moving on. <laughs> That's moving one on. thing I didn't say anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be moving on comfortably. <laughs> Come here, John. Um, we, were, we were at... at, at I suppose we were at Fitzgerald Stadium the last day I was in the green section on the terrace and there was plenty talk uh, and even halfway through the game you knew Kerry were in trouble uh, we didn't see this coming though John did we? No we didn't see it coming we knew it would be a tough test um, Mayor Raw was tough and uh, you know they're, they're, I think from the very start we leave myself we're talking about it even in the warm up stone there was a total contrast in the warm up there was an intensity and there was a focus about Mayo I thought Kerry's warm up was was sloppy to say the least do you know um, they were seemed to be all over the place there was just something missing and that's the way they played uh, Mayo were really up for it uh, they were sharp their fitness levels looked to be better their, their, their pace caused us serious trouble and uh, you know a lot of old guys have some salt shots searching to do some of our, our marquee players they didn't perform and um Look, like we've said several times here in the past, if it weren't for David Clifford, you know, and Shane Ryan, you know, he made three or four great stops, it would have been annihilation, I think. Coming out of his total stadium, most people couldn't believe how we were only five points beaten by five points. It mm-hmm. should have been more. We didn't play well. It was a bad day at the office. And, you know, Jack said in, on, on an interview afterwards, you know, that the management team got maybe got things wrong. You know, the management team can only do so much. The lads in the field have to put up their hand. You know, we were second to every ball and, you know, we were we were, we were were cleaned out in the middle of the field. Our defence were under savage pressure and our forwards, you know, apart from David and Paddy, Paul Ganey, maybe he kicked three great points. But other than that, you know, a, a bad day at the office. Yeah. And yet, with all that negativity and all that slowness and all that, Mayo didn't really put us to the sword, did they? No, and that's probably the only saving grace that we can take out of it. You know, that, that's a, a failing that Mayo have. Oh, and but I said it here uh, because I was above the Mayo game in, in the National League and I was impressed with them they're, they're a different team they're really no, developing under they're really developing yeah. they're playing a game now that they can they had a running game they always had this running game but at times they was run into trouble but now they kick it and I think with playing Aiden Aiden Shea uh, around or, uh, around corner forward and full forward he's given him a target and I suppose that's something that we don't have and maybe that's something we might look at because Shawnee Shea looked well, we realistic we have a target in David Clifford but we, we, we just couldn't get enough space for him to get a ball cleanly and I mean every time yeah but with David Clifford now teams are saying right we'll mark David and forget about everybody else so I think look but that Ke- surely leaves two more players it don't, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be working because look look Shawnee Shea out in the 40 doesn't seem to be motoring he's lacking confidence he's lacking I, I think if we can get a bit of confidence into him either full forward or mid, mid, middle of the field so now we need to get him going and I think maybe full forward in beside David we'll have to pull a rabbit out of the hat here just to get things going I heard all these conspiracy theories today that we're holding back and we're doing this I don't I wouldn't believe in that because I think the way we're going now is, is a hard route yeah. you know, we're going to have three weeks after the, uh, from the low game on and we're going to end up playing teams I was just looking at it there today in the playoff uh, hopefully at home if we f- finish second it'll be either be Donegal or Monaghan Tyrone or Armagh or Kildare or Sligo at home that's if we finish second you know, so you'll be hoping maybe for the, 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 the latter one there but and then if you win that you could end up with Dublin in the quarter final the week after you know, so it is a hard route to go but look we're lucky there is a route for us to go because at, at the moment the way we're playing like it's just this, um, you know, we're marking space then as well Donald and, and I think the reason why we're marking space is because we have no intensity mm-hmm and we don't have it in the legs to do it and I, I think I, you know, and that's something that didn't happen yes, uh, Saturday night I think I've been looking at the league games we just don't have it all, or even through the league Yeah. well look we'll give you a flavour of the comments I mean th- th- there's loads of them I mean loads I mean they're genuinely at the moment there's, there's a hundred at least um, normally when does that I'm not going to read all hundred <laughs> we'll be here till quarter past eight this evening or maybe even uh, for the Cork game but we're going to give you a flavour of the ones that we picked out okay um, and of course well, I, I, I'm going to say that if you're sensitive to a bit of giving out cover your ears now I'd say um, no midfield nothing done all year heading into the championship Sean Shea was non-existent Gavin White nowhere near uh, what we expected him Casey Foley and Graham O'Sullivan all at sea midfield was a washout up front was no better uh, hope this is a wake up call uh, we looked too disinterested at times during the season uh, and this has come home to roost glad it's Cork next uh, Cork 
or sorry, Kerry made it too easy for Mayo to score. Kerry have no midfield dominance. Good game of football, though, to watch from neutral's point of view. And that's Ross in Limerick. Uh, he's certainly on the on the neutral bench here tonight. Um, there was never an All Ireland one in the month of May. That's kind of a half a positive one, I suppose. Very poor Kerry performance. Uh, still only lost by five points as we were getting around to the start. Kerry looked very stuck to the ground. So many players not performing. How can this happen uh, at Championship level? Lost by only five points and we played poorly. Not the end of the world. We'll rise again up the kingdom. Potty Clifford is at his best at centre forward in the country time to rethink about Sean O'Shea's position uh, and it goes on and on and on and on and on and if you want to continue that list on 083 300 3 300 um, I suppose John a loss brings that kind of I won't say anger we weren't anger but there, there was disappointment and, 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 and people kind of invest so much in the G and in so much in the in the carry and, and, and they go in their droves 23,000 at, at the game the last day um, and everybody has an opinion I mean from the minute the, the ball was thrown in people standing to the left of me were saying this guy's being marked by the wrong person this fellow isn't going fast enough the whole lot but as the game plays out uh, over the hour you kind of get a sense that you're not going to win um, and then you kind of probably look at the manager and say, right, what's plan B? What are the changes? Did Jack have anything for plan B the last day? Well, I suppose, to answer the question, the subs that came in for Kerry had no impact. The subs that came in for Mayo had a huge impact. Yeah. And that, that was, that was I think that was the real difference. Mayo's bench, the guys they brought on, certainly made an impact. They weren't weakening their team. And the question that's been asked by a lot of people, Donald, is, what have Kerry done and what have Mayo done in the last six weeks? Mayo were beaten by Common. They went away. They came back hopping off the ground. Kerry won a Munster Championship. We've, uh, people are sick of hearing me saying it here. Like, What does the Munster Championship do for Kerry? Two facile victories, you know, five goals and whatever against Clare. Mm. Where was that last, last weekend? Like, It meant nothing to us. I believe that talking to Mayo man behind me, he told me that they played Tyrone and they played Kildare in two challenges. The Tyrone game, he said, was a health and safety issue, he said, it was from <laughs> physical. Yeah. And that's the way they played the last day. Mm-hmm. And But I think their body language, from the minute they came out, there was a business-like appearance about them. And even when they missed chances, and when Kerry came back, Mayo regrouped. And they showed they're a different Mayo this year, Liam. There, yeah. It's yeah. not the end of the world for Kerry, but it's very disappointing because you know we strolled through the through the the the, the monster championship. We we were behind everyone else. We strolled going, through the league. We strolled well, through yeah. the league. We had we had to work on fitness. Now, what type of training have we done? Are we in another block of training? Are we are we gambling? I'm not sure. But I, I tell so you, the, like Jack said a few weeks ago, the shadow boxing is definitely over now. Mm-hmm. Um, go back to your time, John. Um, we'll go back to Liam's time as well in, in a second. But I mean, like a defeat like that for Kerry. I mean, you you, you players and Kerry teams that you know you were you were there all the best days. But you had you had kind of poor days as well. And you came off the field. Did you ever come off the field where you go into the dressing room afterwards knowing that God, there's something just not right, something stale? How do you address that? Def, like you know if it was one or two players Donald to be something or three mm-hmm. but it was a lot of players the last day and every team has it and you know is it it's hard to put a finger on it but it's a very easy dressing room for Jack to, to, to look after next week because these guys certainly they're hurting you know we beat Cork and Lout you're, you're second like Liam said it's a, it's a difficult run then but if you're going to win the All-Ireland you have to beat them all anyway it doesn't matter so maybe it's the wake up call we need the fellas think they were better than they were did they think we were in a better position than we were? There was something Jack said. He said he said people must have thought we were much better than we were. Actually, in, in his comment, I know it was a throwaway comment maybe at the end. But I suppose there was still kind of Liam a surprise to the way that we played. I mean, okay, we everybody knew that we kind of strolled through, but you, you still kind of said, yeah, Mayo they lost to Roscommon. You know, did the six weeks for Mayo sitting up where they went? They went to Portugal as well, actually. Portugal, and, and, and he gave and, the and players two weeks often as well to Absolutely. go and do whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. so I mean, they were fresher. Yeah, they were fresher, and it, it kind of suited them. And no, but when you look, would at, they have been far more up for this game than Kerry? They would have been, but you, you, you. It, it, obviously, they were, but like you would have thought that with our record in Killarney, with what we did to them last year, you know, does the record the in Killarney count? I mean, I, I was looking at it yesterday, and and, and but Kerry teams always played well in Killarney. But, you know, but, but, but what did we play in Killarney? In, in, in come championship, we, we we played a Tyrone and Mayo in recent times, Super, yeah, and, and we beat Cork every second year. Do you know, it, 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 it's a big number, but 
in reality it's yeah. not but yeah. I know we'd, we'd say a record but it's your home venue mm-hmm. you know so you can't be you can't be given out that you have to travel to Donegal or we're yes. playing in Killarney you know big Kerry support there you'd think the players would be really up for this you know they had their week in, out, out in Portugal as well you know we didn't have a very stressful Munster campaign no, so you wouldn't think that we were we were <laughs> that we were under injuries pressure that we had injuries going into it. So you'll be hoping we were fresh coming into it as well. But we were just second to every ball yesterday. It was just our intensity, and and it's the same intensity. It hasn't changed. And I spoke to you about this before, no, after the game. That it, the same in the league. The league was exact. We we played Mayo yesterday the same way we played in the league. We were second to every ball. You know, we were marking space. You know, we were hoping that I was hoping that you would cover my men and I covered John's men and and uh, and it finished up. No one was covering any men. But at no. least in the league, we brought David Clifford on at half time and we, we 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 clawed it back and we were starting David from the start. Um, Liam, one of the most frightening things for, for me, particularly in the first six or seven minutes, was the matchups. The yeah. single man on man action and the ball that was going into the Mayo and the space that and they the had. space that they had and the ability they had to win the ball clean straight away and not being knocked off it and there was really no kind of support defensive support arriving at all yeah and I suppose look that comes and it's it's a well known fact that we're struggling in the middle of the field since David Moran has gone and if look if Ashdy are struggling in the middle of the field or Curra in a county league match your defenders and your forwards are going to struggle and that happened yesterday they overran us in the middle of the field Rowan and O'Connor probably two of the best midfielders in the country at the moment is that Not simply so. on Pace is it? It's it's pace. They gather the yeah. ball, they're off, and, and they're and off. They're yeah, on. you see the attacking that they did. They actually punched holes in our defence, and what happened in was our full back line were probably the line that that that, that you know got the most targeted and struggled because there was so much ball coming in. Now even if Seamus Moynihan was in there and mm-hmm. and all these great fellas, they would have struggled yesterday because the ball that was coming in, it was just it was just coming in every every. every and the male minutes. full forward line played very very deep. They, they, they were nearly up along the goal line, so they were yeah. creating a big huge vacuum of green grass really for a ball and, and what Mayo have I think as well John this year uh, compared to other early years the likes of James Carr Flynn Carney they're not dependent on one fella which they were for mm-hmm. a couple of years yeah. you know Ryan O'Donoghue they have they have a spread of guys that can kick points even from 40 and 50 yeah, yards yeah, out yeah. and I think it, this first year syndrome with a, with a manager too yeah. McStay is bringing kick. that you know look what he's done with Aidan O'Shea like. yeah. mm-hmm. he's hugely influential through the league yeah. And 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 the Saturday again, and, and he isn't back kicking freeze as well. Back kicking freeze, which is a big ass. And like he's not behind under his own crossbar anymore. No, like. you know there there's a and then the Donny Buckley factor. Look at the physicality. Jesus, look at John, 14 minutes. I, I, I thought you were going to mention look that at, 10 minutes ago. Look at the tackling. Look yeah. at the tackling. What, what is the Donny Buckley factor? It's just that the intensity he brings to it. You know, we had that last year under Paddy Telly. We, don't, we didn't have it last Saturday. We'll have to regain that if we're going to... But and we I think have, early have no on, defensive structure. Like. No, but early on, we, we mentioned midfield, but Shawnee Shea, Shawnee is one of the best footballers in the country. Yeah. There was a ball in under the terrace early on in right, the first yeah. half. And Shawnee was beaten by about three metres. That wouldn't have happened last year. Now, two things. Are we in a block of training that we're not fresh? If we are, okay. But if we're not, there's a lot of question marks. Mm-hmm. You know, when 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 the half back line of Mayo attacked us, they just went through us. We had no resistance. And uh, apart from Paddy Clifford working hard and picking up balls behind, we were struggling big time. Jesus, lads, you're gone quiet. <laughs> we have to chat, is it? We move on to hurling. <laughs> We're saving ourselves. <laughs> Liam, go back, go back to the Kildare days when we won in All-Ireland and yeah. you were hanging around the dressing room <laughs> that, that, that Kildare defeat kind of came out of the blue in, in that sense as well we had won an All-Ireland I'm not saying it's the same because yeah. and in those days you lost and you were, you were literally and gone and you had won an All-Ireland in 97 yeah, you know, before, so, yeah. So, so, so it's a bit like that I mean we, yeah. we, we, we waited from 2014 we won an All-Ireland last year so I'm saying recreating a little bit of a mini famine you were there in 97 um, that lost to Kildare in 98 what was the dressing room like after that? it was, it was a quiet dressing room to know it was because that time the year was so long no, we we started probably a month after the winning Darl Ireland in ninety seven again, and and it went on until September the following year. So no, so it was it was a case of just close the doors and keep everyone out and keep our head down for a couple of weeks after. But the, the, like you have leaders in every dressing room, 
that and I, I presumed you know that I, I would think that Kerry are, are training tonight mm-hmm. now whether they might be doing much but it's either a video analysis or they're, do, they're doing something tonight they're definitely brought in tonight because this is where the leaders have to step up the place now I know the management will have to will have to figure out can they pull a rabbit out of a hat here now and do a Kieran Donaghy factor or something like that you know stick get some filler from are we at that critical stage we where, where we, we need a, a plan B yeah, or I think C we like are that. because we're very flat we're very flat and whether it's after winning the Ireland last year and we threw all our eggs in that basket and it was hard to get it back up to place other teams have they have a bit of a run in us now do they know how to play us and I think they have because they're triple teaming and double teaming David Clifford there doesn't seem to be anybody to know stepping up to the plate to help David Party like Tyrone and these guys they put a mad marker on party may or, may or doing it just to run with him and I think they are targeting our, our number six and our full back full back line as well they're running straight down the middle at us and I think teams are doing that because what's happening is we have a couple of defenders that are bombing up the field kicking one or two points and it's great but when we get turned over there's serious holes back in our defence and we didn't do that last year you know, we, we've got to learn how to hold our defence and let teams come at us instead of driving up the field and then turning the ball over and then acres of space in one on one. Teams are not leaving David Clifford one on one with their play with 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 their markers. But we seem to be unless we have great faith on our, on our defenders, but we, we and I don't think it's gonna work. We're gonna have to shore up our defence. Last year we, we it was our template and we have to revert back to that. We had the same template, John. I mean I, I no, nothing has changed that Michael Murphy the Donegal footballer said there was a sameness about Kerry and you know you, you, you have to bring something new to the party to, if you're an all Ireland champions and, and, and move on a bit. We lost the intensity a bit of the jigsaw I mean I think we set up the same as we always set up yeah. but last Intensity, year you, yeah. you, you remember in the, the yeah. Dublin game yeah. for instance right. even in the game itself I mean the Kerry defenders were knocking the ball out of players hands and they were up and there were two and there was and three we and, 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 and we were double and we were double and triple yeah. teaming does that kind of point to the fact that we're, we don't have the fitness yet or are we kind of like you said in a heavy block of training? I mean, I'm f- fingers crossed we're in a heavy block of training. <laughs> that, 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 that's that's the, yeah. the, the the hopeful answer that you know that that, that season we're looking out because we have lesser teams than Mayo to play against, and the fact that only one team gets out the, doesn't get out of the group gives us a chance to stay in the competition longer. The question is like, did winning last year's All Ireland? Did did Jack got every ounce out of the team last year, yeah, the yeah, management yeah. team? Did that take so much that we're not still recovered? Yeah. I think, I think, like you know, you look at the Dublin, the Galway. They went to the wild those games. Every every ounce had to be got out of the team, and they got it out of them. And we had a bit of luck as well. And we had a bit of luck. And like you know, it's difficult to win back to back. If you go back and look at Tyrone, Tyrone won the All Ireland last year, the year before, I suppose. Now at this stage, they didn't get a gallop the following year. No, that's it's, it's very difficult, and you know, we've we didn't really find anything during the league. Don Lo Sullivan. Um, you know he's carrying an injury. He was he was on the panel the last day, but he he he's got injured. Uh, Mike Breen, you know he he's in there. He's carrying an injury as well. He's been he's been injury prone. Me- Apart from that, we haven't guys put. Look at Mayo. They they got a lot more players. Yeah. Galway got a lot more players. They have they have a bench. Mm-hmm. I don't think we have the same impact from our bench. And we've said it before. David Moore's loss is critical. His midfield yeah, midfield is problem. crucial, and I think it's an area not being critical. We all played. We all played. We went through bad patches, but I think our Two midfielders and Shawnee O'Shea. We're going through a hard time at the moment. If we improve there, it will make a huge difference. It's well, because Don, just before we go on, like the stats, just a couple of stats. Like we're not too far away. No, you know, that's the thing about it. Like just the wides. We had 14 wides. Mayo had 11 wides. Mm. You know, so it's not uh, our scoring rate was 54 percent. They were 60. Our kickouts. Uh, we won we had 26 kickouts 120 23 Mayo had 25 kickouts 121 turnovers Mayo had 17 we had 15 so they're in yeah. they're in the whole pile of a difference there that's where we're saying that Mayo didn't put us to the sword yeah. just no. to give listeners a, 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 an idea that and, and, and the percentage is 54 and 60 to hold Mayo created 33 scoring chances yeah. Kerry created 31 yeah. so I mean there's not much of a difference no, Mayo could have got 4 goals only only for Shane Ryan and uh, I suppose David Clifford had yeah. maybe a goal a second goal you know the, he he, he was blocked out we still created though 
we'd have still created and probably a team that we reckon that will be up there for contending for an All Ireland with the likes of Dublin. So we're not a million miles away if we can tweak a couple of things. But I just think it's our intensity. But like one of our listeners said there, no, no All Ireland's won in May. But unfortunately, our All Ireland final is in nine weeks' time. We don't have four months to wait. It, like September, like before, you know. So things. Which doesn't make it fierce, exciting. It's not a flick of a switch. You so we need to. We <laughs> well, hopefully, it won't be over in a couple of weeks. And nine I hope weeks. They don't have the radio on in training tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll be over in nine weeks' time. For now and, and, and for the continued future, it's all about the match, Kerry versus Mayo. Uh, plenty of comments coming in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read out a couple more. Um, and I'll fire them across to the boys and you can answer them as quick as possible. Uh, God almighty, where do I start? It's like the, the old late, late show trying to pick a winner. Uh, there's plenty of them. Evening, lads. Saturday's performance is reflective of the year so far, with the exception of David Clifford, Paul Ganey and Shane Ryan. Everyone else was below par. I can't understand how we were so unprepared after the trimming we took in Castle Bar. Our number one issue is midfield and for the life of me, how has Ronan Buckley not seen game time? Uh, I don't see in All-Ireland this year. Our form isn't good enough and that's Neil above in County Meadon. Good evening to you, Neil. Uh, Ronan Buckley. Um, good yeah. question, yeah. yeah. The guy he, that has he was really on our Terrace Talk team of the league he our was, last year, midfielder. You know, a good warrior and um, a good and, footballer. And, and, and he... I suppose he's a throwback to Peter Kane's time because he, he played in that game against Cork and he, he had all that run in the league as well. Um, and there's, there's a lot of players. You have Mark O'Shea with Dr. Crooks, you have, da- you have David Shaw, you have, you have plenty of guys <coughs> but out but there. I presume, could, well, Ronan is on the panel. Ronan's and, and, on the extended panel. On the extended panel. So he's inside, so... Something to look at, definitely. Keep you have two list driving on the team then. <laughs> but sure. We are looking. Uh, hi, Donal. Um, I'd like to hear the panel's views on getting Paddy Clifford to centre forward and looking uh, at Shawnee O'Shea in the full forward line would benefit both players. That's John and Mello. Good evening, John. Uh, turning that over to John. Um, it, it doesn't sound like a bad solution, no, really. It's not a bad idea. I think Paddy is more, more suited in the 40. I think maybe a change for Shawnee. You know, so you could get him going. Yeah, yeah. see so him getting going. Either bring him to midfield or put him in the full forward line. Just to get him involved in it, get him on the ball. Confidence sometimes can be, it, it can dip with players and it can change very quickly as well. Mm. Because it, class it, is it, permanent, like yeah. he's yeah. not a bad yeah. player. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just to get the form going. Yeah. In your time, John, the team of the 80s, players obviously went out of form every now and again. What did Mick O'Dwyer do with him? Sometimes you're just even taking off a fella. Not starting him. It, it just refocuses. It takes the pressure off. To restart it, the happens, it happens every player. Absolutely. Uh, hi, lads. Looking forward to the show. Um, do you know when the Cork match is on? Well, I tell you one thing. Liam will not be saying her. He thinks it'll be on this year because <laughs> don't ask me. It's yeah. not going to be man point this year on the list. That's for sure. Uh, I can't find it anywhere, but I presume it's sorted at this stage. We have the weekend for it anyway. Um, I think it's Saturday night. It's, yeah. it's going to be Saturday night. We we, we think uh, Marie or Mary, depending on, on how you spell your name for us. Uh, it's going to be the Saturday before the Sunday of that weekend because there's there's a big event. Marathon in. Sunday isn't there yeah, absolutely yeah. yeah and hopefully that game won't turn into a marathon either uh, we'll talk about that game in a second uh, Hi Donald it was a tough day getting beaten at home lots of problems are out around the middle of the field um, but there's a lot of football still to be played uh, and you would hope that that game will bring Kerry on a lot and that's Charles uh, up there as well um, I suppose that's a fair point by Charles I mean it, it, it's the first dipping your toe in, into the big we, we, no, we weren't ran off the field you know people there's room for improvement across all the players Liam I mean they're heading into a game against Cork and Loud on paper we should be yeah. be looking to beat yeah. them um, would the performance the last day beat a Cork team? No I don't think it would and I sat I, I just said to John there during the break I sat here last year and I knew that no matter where we would play Cork or played anyone at at the at the farm we had in the league that we that we were going to beat him, but I honestly can sit here and say that we'd have an easy one against Cork up in Cork because our, f- our, f- now, our farm our farm our farm isn't there, and I just think that we just need something to reboot ourselves. You'll be hoping on paper. Look, we're playing lower division teams that. We, we could we could kick on but we need something drastic to, to shake us to get, to get us going because look at the end of the day we're going to have to beat Division 1 teams when we get to quarter final and, and hopefully a final so we we got to start putting building blocks now between here and three or four weeks time mm-hmm. uh, more building blocks we're depending too much on David Clifford for scores and we have no midfield why don't they play Barry Den uh, John Kennedy yeah again it's a good question you know, uh, by your listener there, it's it's a, 
we were we were we were well we were and you know it's not so much in the aerial battle Liam it was it was it was the ground battle yeah. Rowan and Dermot O'Connor they bossed us mm-hmm. the, 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 the mayor Dermot O'Connor and they did the same above they, that know, nice they, above they, they ran at us and I think you know they, they had it in their head that they had the, the, the Indian sign on our two lads and they took them on um, you know Jack Barry won a kick out midway through the second half I think it was the first mm-hmm. f- uh, kick kick out we won uh, in the middle of the field but it was it was uh, it was the way that Mayo just they took over and they, I think they, they, they saw from early on that they had the legs that they had that advantage in pace and they really ran at us and, and you know they caused serious trouble to our defence running at him mm-hmm. Text from Mossy there in 083 300 300 We weren't tracking the Mayo runners Rhino Dunn who was left unmarked several times uh, I'd have to ask the question why are every Kerry player pushing up on the opposition half when we're attacking? We're wide open and we got turned over all the time. Yeah, that's getting back to my point earlier. We have a couple of defenders that are bombing up the field and we're letting big gaps at home and then a couple of other defenders then are struggling because there's a lot of fellas running. And it's probably not helping our midfield either because the midfielders are picking up the guys that are, are running a pace. You know, so we need to get a structure defensively. Mm-hmm. Say, look, you hold your spot. Like Tyg Morley never went outside number six last year. But teams are starting to pull him left, right, yeah. centre and leave they're, gaps. They're now. pulling him further into they're the pulling, midfield yeah, yeah. And, and they're saying, come on, mark yeah. me, I'm out here. And, 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 and they are. And, and it's a hard position because Tyg's not too sure yeah. whether I should but go see, a bit further out. Tyg last year had David Moran sitting in the pocket there in front of him helping him. A more defensive more midfielder. More defensive midfielder. He doesn't have he doesn't have that luxury this year. To know. So teams are, are, are kind of probably just targeting that now as well. My God, it's very depressing altogether. <laughs> Listen, come here, we'll we, we see, can we fix it? I suppose everybody wants to see it broken. Um, we're, we, we have our fingers crossed that we're going through a tough phase of training and, you know, that was just the, the game and it's fair to say we operated at probably only 60 or 70% of where we should be and, and the whole lot. Um, let's go back to the full back line, uh, Liam. Um, a lot of people giving out about the full back line, a lot of people giving out about the, the man-to-man marking. Uh, having played the full back line, myself you're on a hiding to nothing if the ball is good coming in yeah, yeah. and the ball was fairly good coming in yeah, and, so much it, space and it's easy to get isolated yeah. marking individual players um, but man to man I, I presume as markers they would still be fairly disappointed with their performances the, oh they would yeah yeah but like I, if I was in the full back line and I'd, I'd be looking out the field and saying hey Donald what are you doing out there and John what are you doing out there like mm-hmm. because the ball was just coming it was just like coming off a wall it was coming it was coming in and like you said bouncing and like perfect ball bouncing there was no pressure being put on the kicks that were that was coming in to know so I wouldn't have been happy and no, it's easy to say, it's easy like it's easy to be marking top top class forwards and then they're going around you but it's like that you yeah. you need you need help yeah, as John, well as that the ball going in from the Mayo midfield and half back line yeah. there was no pressure on them they were getting good quality ball into the full forward line yeah. and that, that they, 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 they seem to have all the time in the world to pick a pass really do you know I what did, I mean yeah. God, yeah. I, 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 it's easy to find a man with a quality ball if yeah. you have time and if they, if they didn't kick then they ran they ran yeah. they, ran. Yeah. they exactly. were off the shoulder they was just like they really do mix up their game the way they're playing now Mayo uh, is a is a completely different game to what the old Mayo is play. Hmm. They're not predictable anymore. Not predictable no. anymore. No. And they can kick a few high balls into Aiden as well, which they didn't yeah. last day. You know, the ball, that, even the balls Aiden Shea was getting were bouncing in front of him. Mm-hmm. You no, know, and people saying, why didn't we play in front of him? But then they probably would have kicked it over uh, higher ones. But it was just, yeah. Look, when you're a bait middle of the field, Donald, it's very hard in at, at any level. No, and I think you can't get position. That's yeah, the problem. We need, right? we need to, we need to get that sorted before we go. And, and we as well as that, Liam, or half forward line. Apart from party, yeah. you know, we weren't following them in, no. we weren't challenging them, we weren't putting them under pressure, and that was a big problem. Oh. I think that was a big problem, in fairness. And of course, uh, you know, you, you win ball eventually, you go forward, and you're turned over far too easily. Yeah. Um, and like you look at our half forward line last year with Adrian Splane and Stephen O'Brien. Mm-hmm. No, they're good workers, yeah. no, good men, experienced. Like Adrian yeah. scraps for stuff, he gets so, involved, yeah. and he doesn't let the opposition dictate what's happening. And that's what we need to stop the good quality ball going into the full forward line. Exactly. We didn't do that the last day. Yeah. Um, of course, Jack did make two changes at half time. Tony Broston went off and Dylan Casey went as well. Um, were they predictable enough changes? I felt sorry for Dylan, being honest with you. He was he was left isolated inside, as as indeed Jason Foley and Tom Sullivan were. But Dylan, like, you know, coming into the team and, and, and having got his debut, like, it was a difficult one for him. Difficult, yeah. You know, and uh, I suppose you could, to me, you could have taken off any one of the 
the six backs at half time if you if we were being critical because we weren't going well we were under pressure all over the field um, but look selectors make changes Tony Brosnan it wasn't happening for Tony either um, and uh, I suppose look it, it, it was just a, maybe uh, sometimes when you're fresh in it you bring in new, 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 new blood it, it can change it didn't change for it us back, but it didn't yeah, get any back no, compared to what the, what the, what the, the mayor yeah. forward our subs did like you, you, Dirk and Hesson, Conroy, Cohen, and McLaughlin. Like, so they were, they gave a great spark off the bench. Mm-hmm. Just to prove we read out every comment and we value every comment, some more than others, obviously. Uh, lad, you're talking nonsense. Uh, you're overrating the team completely. You were beaten by a far better team. Dear yeah. God. Fair play to your listener. You, you, you have it spot on. Spot on. We, we should bring you in now next week, maybe, <laughs> in Sidelian in, in, in Brosnan. <laughs> <laughs> Call it as it is. Uh, the backs were so bad. And only for the Kerry keeper playing so well to keep out goals. We were opened up with the back boys uh, on the sideline and we'll have to look at themselves. Paddy Talley did great work with the boys last year. Uh, they're not bringing that work to the field this year. Kerry are going back to the same old Kerry way and that's a trilly corner or just around the corner from us. Um, let's pick the positives out of that before we pick the rest of it. Shane Ryan had a fabulous game. Super game, yeah. He was, he's, he's, a big, he's a big keeper. He made himself big the last day. Uh, he was very composed, made great saves. Yeah. Uh, three particularly very good saves. His kick-outs were very good too. Mm. You know, uh, you know, you couldn't blame Shane in fairness. He, he did very well and uh, the scoreline would have been much bigger if, if it weren't for him. Yeah. Always when you lose a game, whether it's under 13 or minor or, or men or women or whatever, it's, it's the boys and the girls on the sideline that everybody wants to look at. Um, how, how would you have judged their performance yesterday? with what they could have done or what they could have done more. Now, I suppose I, 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 I'll tend to that make it a bit easier because, I mean, we don't know what's happening behind closed, closed doors. doors. I mean, yeah. th- there was yeah. a time that you could peer into Fitzgerald Stadium and see whatever, and there was even a time when the split season wasn't done that they'd be around with the county championship being played or something and yeah. you'd see a couple you'd of... see play, what kind play, of form they'd be in. What kind of form and who was marking who and the what. So, th- so that's fairly hard to pick a, 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 a call on it. But um, w- will Jack be worried going into the next game Liam, we'll, we'll rephrase it this way that does he rejig the jigsaw and see can he find something new or does he remain loyal and hope that he can get the extra 10 or 15% out of these fellows who delivered in all Ireland to him I think he'll rejig I think there'll be no there won't be a massive rejig altogether I think there'll be one or two different players that are on the team probably move to different positions and maybe one or two guys on the bench looking at the likes of the fellas I'm looking at the likes of Mike Breen Stephen O'Brien you know these fellas that you might see Tron and you might see Gavin White move to midfield you know, I think there'll be just a small little thin things like that that'll, that'll be moved around mm. I'll I, I read out a text that just came in there a couple of minutes ago uh, it's a good text because it's going to get you talking anyway this guy's going to tweak the team around first anyway so bear with me there's a few tweaks here uh, a few tweaks and Kerry will be fine lad so positivity is last he agrees with me don't, oh, well, well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, wait till we get to the end of it okay that's just the opening line yeah. Paul Murphy Brino Begley and Stephen O'Brien need to get more ball time over the next two games Tom Sullivan's a class act, especially going forward, and would consider him for a half forward line role. Now, I remember at, at the game yesterday, I was talking to a guy from West Kerry, and he told me that Tom Sullivan played all his football in the forward line uh, when he was a young fella. So obviously, he, he's at home there. Rabbit out of the hat. This guy's thinking, the rest of you aren't. Pull Shane Ryan out of goal, into full forward, and put Shane Murphy into goal. <laughs> Right, it's a rabbit out of a hat now. For There's a couple of rabbits there, in fairness, <laughs> that, 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 that that's quite a good trick. Um, all seriousness, though, Shane Ryan does play out a goal. I mean, he, he's comfortable under high ball. But are we in trouble in that side? I don't, I don't think Shane Ryan will be a brother of the goals. Like that's something you're doing a county league yeah. match, not yeah. at, is it the county league. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, so some of the comments about Kerry last day were they were county <laughs> county league standard uh, lads. Block of training and in question marks. There's nine weeks left. Hard training should be finished at this stage. Who's trained them anyways? Paddy Talley's still there. He's definitely not trained them uh, to win open uh, to be open at the back. Nor Kerry Lister. That's a fair point actually. I mean, Paddy Talley certainly w- wouldn't have a defensive unit that does have two open doors for you. You know, you'd, you'd wonder at times, look, John, and we've been at so- on sidelines that you give fellas instructions and they go out and they could do the opposite thing. Like, yeah. and getting back to your point, which you said, Don, which was very fair. You know, we don't know what's happening behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. Getting back to Barry Dan, maybe Jack Barry is destroying Barry Dan inside training, mm-hmm. inside training matches. We, we we don't know because we don't see it. But you know, it's it's something that you're kind of saying, look, we'll be hoping the management will will get their heads together and, and seeking the can uh, get a bit of farm and get a bit of things going but the thing that's worrying me is our intensity 
and that's something that you can't flick with a switch you know like or sprint we don't seem to be we don't seem to have the pep in the step as, as I would say to, we're second to every ball we're not loose you know we're we're, we're behind in, in that and we're behind that all year mm-hmm. you know so Margaret and Clarny has it all nailed first anyway she says hi Donald there's no All-Ireland at Kerry team this year and Mayo are on fire it could be Mayo for Sam's year yeah, Mayor on fire and there's a long way to go even though like Liam said it's the end of July but at the same time you know that's a one game like, that's yeah. one game mm-hmm. um, eh, the disappointing thing is that you'll have an easier quarter final if, if Mayo have topped the group but other than that that's the only advantage you'll have and you know the, the, the next two games if Kerry finish second I think they'll beat Cork and Louth. They finish second. You know, you're you're in you're into the quarter final. So you're following to Liam Brasson strict You you mm-hmm. said we'd beat me. Oh my God! <laughs> John, oh, don't don't, 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 don't going to be a threat. Don't be <laughs> <laughs> Coming to Killarney, they were all going to be a threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always think the first year for a management and there team. There was something different to me this year. Different, like. yeah. yeah. There's something different. And Joe Biden mm-hmm. is behind him as well. So there's there's, there's big Trump's money and connections behind him as well. Donald Trump supporting clear. Election to Hurling. Uh, I was at the Dingle versus Tax game yesterday and there was skin and hair flying in a very exciting match. On Saturday, we didn't get one shoulder in. We just let Mayo waltz through us. Um, the players, have the players been brainwashed out of them? Uh, or playing football has been brainwashed out of them? Time to go back to basics, Tom. Uh, it's a fair enough point. I mean, there was no bit of aggro, really. I mean, to the last time they played, David Moore and Aidan O'Shea were exchanging autographs before the game ever started and he got the crowd involved straight away and, you know, David Moore and Law, massive amount of ball over Aidan Shea, supporters got in. There was no stage of that game on Saturday, John, that the supporters got a chance to get involved. Somewhere middle in the middle toward the right, we got down to three points and two yeah. points and there was a bit of a roar. Maybe we put pressure on kickouts and, and, and it looked kind of, yeah. yeah but There was no spark. Not really. The atmosphere was, was flat as well, yeah. as well as Kelly's performance. It just didn't ignite. Sure, it didn't. No. That, that intensity that championship football brings, it wasn't there. And, uh, you know, you compare that to the hurling over the weekend. Look at the intensity. Look at the crowd, the way they got involved. That wasn't at Fitzgerald Stadium. You're doing a Donald Logan us talking hurling. I'm not. I'll be texting you now saying, Joy, I can't tell you, I shouldn't ask you hard questions. (laughs) I'll answer one hard question for you anyway. Kerry versus Cork. Thank you very much, Ivan, over there. Uh, Done a great bit of Googling there for us. Parky Cueve, that's where we're going. Uh, It's 3 pm and it's Saturday, the 3rd of June. Are you good? Will there be a big Kerry crowd at that now? There will, yeah. There will. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely, because we're going into the unexpected now again. Because Cork ha- had a, have a good year, like they had a good old league yeah. league campaign up to Partney Heave, and they won't fear us now. I don't think there's many teams now at the moment at the way Kerry are playing. It's three o'clock on a Saturday too early for us. It's me- yeah, it's bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> three o'clock. God, we'll hardly have the live in the cock. 11 o'clock the breakfast, breakfast team at that stage yeah. um, Jack won't even have the team pick he might drive to that <laughs> <laughs> take us all <laughs> or maybe Ambrose might drive us since I see Ambrose and Tim driving there at the weekend with Carboyle they're doing great work all year um, come here guys seriously uh, two or three minutes and we, 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 we'll wrap it up uh, we're heading into the Cork game of course um, what changes would you like to see Liam right I'd like to see something done with Shawnee Shea anyway because we need Shawnee Shea going well on no. the field or off the field on the field okay on the field yeah. he needs confidence you could see you could he's just you no know, he's not getting to the ball, he's not getting so out around the middle of the field. Probably he'd probably get on a lot of loose ball. No, he's a big man, he can't. Okay, we'll move him to eight and we'll move, move, move him to eight, yeah. Who, who yeah. are you moving out? Party party is number eleven in. Party's natural number eleven. You didn't answer the question there, John, did you, huh? Who are you moving out? Yeah, you, out can have, you, you can have three midfielders. I'd move Dear Mid Wing forward. Dear Mid Wing forward, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'd look at the backs too, Don. i I'd, I'd I'd put Graham Solon back on the back. Okay. More man marking and strong yeah, and yeah. stature. And, and I'd look at Mike Breen. And I Mike think it's time to you know, have and you could have a question mark with Jack Barry as well. Okay, I'd have a, is Barry Dan what way he's going? Could you could you move Gavin White out there and put Mike Breen back in wing yeah. back? Adrian Splans, Steve Nobre. Adrian Splans, Steve Nobre as well. Yeah, yeah. You know. I presume. The, the way it's structured look I mean look it's a bit of a ridiculousness really I mean we can lose another game and, and beat still Loud qualify, and, and, yeah. and still qualify so it, th- there is kind of a, a chance there to maybe run a few extra players out that you wouldn't normally run um, but would you is it a big gamble to, to, to see three or four changes? You're still keeping the nucleus of the team are, in yeah. fairness yeah. and it's it, sometimes when you change uh, the, the guy from one position to another it can just rejuvenate him it can get get that spark going I think we need to do something um, or else you know 
they'll, they'll have a real they'll have a real tough two weeks and, and, and they'll get Jack will give these guys a dogging and, and their, their pride will be hurt Mm. they'll want to go out and make up for it that could happen too mm. go back to the leaders in the dressing room Liam, before we finish up uh, players talk fairly frank to each other I'd imagine coming off after that I mean uh, we, we mentioned the, the backs the way the ball was coming in the whole lot um, and Jack always kind of liked a bit of aggro around the training grounds anyway so if you go back and read his book I mean he brought in a list old guy to, to, but, to wind up that time all you had the Shays and you had Seamus Moyne and these fellas have we them in the dressing rooms now? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm no. the presenter. You can't ask I'm me that question. I'm not in the room either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were outside it last week. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't know. Have we? I know David is a fantastic leader. Yeah. I've mm-hmm. seen. I've I've first hand with David and stuff like that. But as when I'm looking at the the, the defence there, like you'd be saying, Tyg Morley, Tom Sullivan, these folks, can they step up and be real leaders in, inside the dressing rooms? Right. Okay. End on a positive. Will we beat Cork, John? Yeah, we'll beat Cork, Donald. Yeah. I have no doubt about it. We'll is that a Cork. Kerry kind of, yeah, we'll beat Cork? No, it's like, not. Or is I, it know, I think Mayo are a different level to Cork, totally. Mm. We weren't that far off of Mayo. We, like, in spite of all the doom and gloom and the, and the performance, there was only five points. Yeah. And of course, we'll get, a look at, we'll get to look at Cork next weekend when they play loud. They play loud, yeah. yeah. I think we'll beat Cork and loud. Wh- and, wh- which, know. Liam, is a game loud or fancy? Which is a game loud or fancy, yeah. 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 You know, because they're, they're, they're nearly at the same power, really. Yeah. You'll be hoping that we're just that little step ahead of them. But we're going up to, the, I suppose, Cork Kerry games always take life of their own, they're yep. down through the years. You know, so you, you'll be hoping that. But what I'd like to see is a few changes in here because I do think that the team at the moment will not win us in Ireland Island at the way we are. Okay. So we're going to have to. God almighty, in the down. negative, and really in fair play. Well, I'm just looking at the, at, at the team. <laughs> <laughs> the team you know, so we need we need a, a bit of juggling around and get fellas going. Just to, because I, look, we got to look long term as well, to head toward looking at a quarter final. Okay. And I don't think that 15 will win a, an All Ireland quarter final for us. Well, at the way they're playing. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be some sound bite to come back in at Christmas time? <laughs> 15 wouldn't win an All Ireland final. 